Hey everyone, Lyle here from West Tennessee Gold and Silver Exchange, and today I have a nice collection of toned Morgan dollars to look through. Hey everyone, my name is Lyle and I own West Tennessee Gold and Silver Exchange here in Savannah, Tennessee. And I do a lot of videos of all of the cool collections that come into the store, plus some unboxing videos. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you like, subscribe, so you can stay up to date on all of the cool collections that come into my small coin shop here in West Tennessee. And on today's show, I have this uh, very nice collection of toned Morgan Dollars that has come in uh it's not the first time i've gotten a collection like this i've had a few collections of toned silver dollars toned half dollars i get all of them from the same guy who sells me he sells me a, a, quite a bit of stuff um so i got those from him we're gonna check them out i don't think there's any key dates or any good dates they're all pretty common morgan but the cool thing is they all have some form of toning on them uh, I don't know if it would be artificial toning or if it's standard toning uh, or natural toning, I should say. The, the, way it was, the way it was said to me is that the guy bought this collection from another guy who had him in a drawer. When he brought him out of a drawer, that's when he discovered that they were all toned. And then he would put them in flips, but this time he didn't put them in flips. They're all just in, um, in the plastic sleeves. So that's all I know. Um, I don't know if he, that's just a story and he's really toning them himself. I have no idea. Sometimes it looks pretty natural. Other times it doesn't look natural. So I don't know. Uh, and if you're curious, like I am, I actually, uh, the last batch that he sold me, I, I sent a bunch of them to PCGS. And you can check out that video of me sending them right there. If I can get my hand to focus right there and um check out that video check out the coins that i sent off to pcgs two of those morgans that i sent off did not come from from this guy it came from another collection so i kind of use that as my um as my control because those i'm almost positive are natural toned and for his i'm not 100 percent sure so um uh, I should hear back from PCGF soon. It's in their encapsulation period. So hopefully in the next six months to a year, they will show up. Because that's how long uh, PCGS is taking nowadays, apparently. So let's get started by looking through these cool toned Morgans. And up first is this one right here. We have this. What is that? 1886. It's 1886. Look at that toning. This has got like a nice maroonish purple color to it. And on the reverse, it does got some more toning. Looks like this one is a Philadelphia. So it's got a little bit of a cartwheel there. You can see it rolling through. That's a nice looking Morgan with some uh, cool toning. Let's see what it looks like out of the sleeve. Uh, there's a staple here. I don't want to. I don't want to try to dig it out. I will eventually put all of these in flips myself. But right now is not that time. Up next is an 1885. 1885 Morgan Dollar with some cool toning. Nice cartwheel going through. You can see it. Right there. See the reverse. Reverse also has a nice cartwheel to it. Let's see how close I can get. Yeah, look at all that detail on this guy. Nice looking Morgan. Some cool toning. I got a ton of these guys. And he had a, he had so many more. He had a lot more. Um, he had a lot of good ones. I'm talking like a lot of Vams. Um, of some key dates, I believe even some Carson Cities that had some toning on it, but he hasn't he hasn't wanted to sell those yet. I'm still uh, 
working on that. But here's a uh, 1879. Very, very early in the uh, Morgan run. And check out that reverse. With the naked eye, the whole rim has blue. Well, you can kind of see it here without that glare, but that whole rim has blue around it. And then the center is almost kind of like the silver color, like a, like a Morgan, and then the outer rim, nice and yellow, or the inner rim. That's a nice looking coin right here from 1879. Here's a 1898. Nice toning. You can kind of see a uh, line right there of tone. Some really nice colors, though. This looks like this is another Philadelphia. Probably the most common Morgans are the ones from Philly. And then New Orleans had a lot of them. Look at this monster right here. 1896. Look at all that toning. It's got like a lot of reds, a lot of blues, some green down here in the numbers. Very nice looking coin. Still got a lot of good detail. Look at that. Still got a lot of good detail. And the reverse. It's got like almost no toning except for up here. And the car's rolling through. All right. So I, um, I get asked a lot about how much things are. I get a lot of emails from when I show stuff. Um, a lot of this stuff ends up going to our auctions, which I haven't done an auction in in a few weeks because I've been sick. Uh, and then we had that taco truck that I needed to finish. Right, look at that cartwheel. So uh, today is Tuesday. I'm recording it Tuesday morning, and we might not have an auction today. Just letting you guys know right now, auction will probably start this coming Friday. Here's another one. Look at that. Looks like this might have been uh, the end of a roll, maybe. As you can tell by the line that was exposed in the roll. Or maybe there was a rubber band, or not a rubber band. Something here. Some tape. I don't know. Anything that could have stopped it from toning there, and that's where the toning stopped. But yeah, our auctions uh, will start again on Friday. Still trying to get in the groove of things. I'm feeling a little bit better after the COVID fiasco. So, wanted to get some more videos out to you guys. But as far as the auctions goes, <coughs> those take um, uh, a lot of effort that I just don't have in me at the moment. <laughs> now, this one's a New Orleans one right here. You can see the O. Let's see if I can get a close-up right there. Yep, there's the O. Look at all that nice toning. It's a nice looking one from 1881. Here we got a 1898. Still got some luster, it looks like. Some really good luster. Nice cartwheel. Rolling right through, you can see it. It's got some nice reds, blues. So if you're not registered for our auctions, all you have to do is go to www.westtnexchange.com. That's T-N, like Tennessee. Westtnexchange.com. Get registered. That way, make sure you subscribe. You can get notified when we go live. You can bid on some of this stuff. One from 1889. So we got a lot of regulars that go to our auctions. Really appreciate every single one of you showing me some support. 
in my uh, endeavor of uh, doing coins and gold and silver. It's a nice one from Philly. Eighteen eighty nine Morgan. Oh, I still got a ton, guys. I'll check this one out. Eighteen ninety six. That's some crazy looking toning. From eighteen ninety six. Really good uh, detail still left on this one. Nice cartwheel going. You can see it. From 1896. I'm still trying to work on that lighting, guys. I don't know. I moved the lights around. I uh, turned off the lights on the overhead. And I just have one light going right now. But now, for whatever reason, it's catching all the glare. Here's a 1921. 1921 with some uh, crazy looking toning. Nice big old gash on the next to the nose. On the cheekbone. But it has some really nice color. And here's the reverse. Still got a lot of good detail on this guy. Still got a lot of good breast feathers right there. You can see them all. Nice detail. Perfect. Here's another one from 1889. This one's got some more spotting toning almost. Nice heavy toning right here in the hair. You can see it that purple and blue. Look at all those stars. Really good shape, good detail. 1889, this is a Philadelphia. But look at that reverse. Just like some of the other ones. Nice ring of blues, purples, and the yellows. And then nothing in the center. This was probably the end of the roll, or the beginning of the roll. Nice coin. Let's keep the train rolling. I still got a ton of them. 1889. This one's got that stripe. Not so much toning in the back, but still got good detail. Really nice detail. Nineteen twenty one. And the garbage trucks rolling through. I gotta get another building, guys. <laughs> I don't know why this building is just so loud. Uh it's like a it's a concrete building or something. So it's pretty drafty. It's kinda like a castle. Eighteen twenty one. This one's got some damage up here. Some rim damage. Looks like it was hit, dinged by something right there. Still got good detail though. From 1921. Probably the most common Morgan I see is the 1921. Here's a 1900. Look at that toning. Got some nice blues. All of the toning colors are right there. Don't really see many greens though. But it's a nice looking one. And it's a uh, Philadelphia. No mint mark. 
As you can see, right there, no mint mark. If I can get it out of the glare, there we go. Mint mark would be right there between the D and the O. Or right above it. Nice looking one. From 1900. Here is a 1889. This one's got some some of that subtle toning that I like. It's not so vibrant. It's just uh, nice and light, like pastel almost. These are my favorite. They just have nice pastel colors. Not too overbearing on the toning. Still got a cartwheel rolling through. This is a nice looking one right here. Reverse. Nice cartwheel. You can see it rolling right right there. And then now it's here. It's going this way. Nice looking coin right here. Uh, it's hard to see. Camera doesn't want to focus. There's a little ding right there. But other than that, it's a nice looking coin. Eighteen eighty nine, probably my favorite so far is right here. If anyone is keeping track, <laughs> if anyone cares, this is probably my favorite one right here. I'll keep that one aside just in case I, I decide to keep it. Oh man, I shouldn't say that. All right, let's keep on rolling. Eighteen eighty six. Eighteen eighty six. Nice toning. Still got a lot of good detail here. Check out all that detail. Very nice. Nice full rim. Uh, looks like there might be something there. Uh, nope, that looks like that's just a little piece of trash. Piece of cardboard or something, piece of paper. Here's the reverse. Nice reverse with some subtle toning. Good detail. Look at those breast feathers. Still got the still got the detail there. 1886. Up next, we got this 1886. 1886 Morgan dollar. You know, I've always wondered why they didn't do the Morgans in like half dollars. Can you imagine like half dollars with Morgans on them? That would be pretty cool. But no, I think at this time it was what the um, the seated. Um, yeah, I think it was the seated half dollars around this time. Or no, the. The Barbers was 1886. Yeah, let me find out. Pretty sure it was the, it was the Seated. Yeah, I was right. Seated and the Barbers in 92 is when it started, 1892. So this would have been the, um, the Seated, the end of the Seated half dollar runs. They should have done. Morgan half dollars. That would have been cool. Because they did Barber half dollars. And they did Seated half dollars. All right. Next up. It's 1896. 1896. Nice blue toning all over it. Bluish. Kind of like pinkish, a little bit of yellow, orange up there. Nice looking toned coin. And I apologize if you're colorblind. <laughs> this is not the video for you. I'm sorry. There is um, a lot of toning. Or if you're uh, somehow hooked it up, hooked up a Roku to a black and white TV. Do you guys remember black and white TVs? 
I, I remember a long time ago, uh, I had a black and white TV in my room. It was a uh, 1886, like, I think I might have been, this would have been, this would have been like either late 80s, early 90s. It had to have been at least 1990, I would say, because I was around five in 1990. Um, and I had a black and white TV. I used to watch like Lassie. <laughs> I always thought like, like if I watch a black and white show on a black and white TV, would it be color? No, sadly, no, it was not. It was 1886, Morgan Half. Yeah, we used to. Um, I told this story a lot in in a, in uh, my podcasts. If you're ever interested in checking out my podcasts, just look up uh, Amazing Advertising was my first podcast. Look it up on Apple Podcast or check out the Halloween podcast. Um, if you like Halloween related content, check those guys out. But uh, I used to tell a story all the time about when I was growing up. Um, I had a, we had a bar, like a full on bar in the front of the house. My dad built like a bar for parties and whatnot. Here is a 1888 and, uh, he had a TV up there. And what I would do is because my dad took over one TV, my brothers took over another TV and we, I didn't have a TV in my room at the time. So I would sit, lay down right on the bar and then just watch Family Matters, <laughs> Full House. I used to watch all of those just laying down on the bar outside, looking up at the TV. And uh, there's actually, there's a picture of it floating around that I've shown a few, a few times. If I can find it while I'm doing the editing, I'll, I'll post it here and let you guys take a look at it. It's uh, something happened to that picture. It's, it's so 90s, 80s, that picture. Um, but something happened to it. Like the colors are all messed up, but it's the only surviving picture I have of that um, of that TV that I spent so many hours of my childhood at that at that bar at the TV. But uh, if I find it, I'll show it to you guys, so you guys can check it out. Here is a 1884 Morgan Morgan dollar. This one is from. New Orleans. We've been getting a lot of Phillies, but we got New Orleans right here. Good detail. All right, I still got quite a few more, so I'm gonna try to speed it up a bit, or else this video will be 30 minutes long. Here's 1886. Oh, look at that. Nice toning. Very subtle. Nice cartwheel still going. Here's the reverse. Reverse has got a lot of good detail. Still got a lot of good detail on this guy. No rim damage, it looks like. Maybe there's a little tiny nick right there. But nice. Nice nonetheless. 1886. 1886. Nice toned Morgan. I never noticed this line before. Hmm. Sometimes things just catch my attention. Here's another one. Yeah, that line's right there, too. Hmm. I don't know why I've never, like, noticed that there was a line right here. I'm sure I did notice, but I'm just... Just being curious, I guess. Full-on Liberty. Liberty is rarely rubbed away on these guys. Even on really, really worn... Morgans, I can still see the word Liberty. It's like stamped in there really good. And the Philadelphia. Here's a 1885. 100 years before I was born, this coin was minted. Here's another thing I never really noticed. That little tiny hair right there. Do they all have it? I'm sure they all do. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> It's so prominent on this one, though. And it looks like it's got a uh, a um, earring, an eyebrow ring right there where that nick is. <laughs> 1885, nice blue toning, some purples in there, very subtle. This one is a Philadelphia with some nice faint toning. 
in there. A little nick over here, it looks like. But nice looking coin. Very nice. And here's a, another 1885. When I was born, this coin turned 100. That is so weird to, to hear. And it still looks like it's in pretty good shape for being in uh, New Orleans right here. This is a different O. I believe they had a few, um, a few variations of that O. But nice. Got about 12 or so more, guys. 1889. Really nice looking Morgan here. Full on cartwheel going all the way around. Let's check that reverse. Reverse, guys. Still got a nice cartwheel as well. Nice. Very nice. Uh, my voice is starting to go, guys. Starting to get nasally. But 1885, another one. 1885 must have been a good year for the Morgan. And these guys have been probably sitting in a vault somewhere for many years before they were discovered. Before they were discovered. Very nice. All right, let's keep this train rolling. Here's a 1881 full toner. Right here, the entire front, or the, to the entire obverse has some really nice toning all over it. Look at all those colors. Let's check out the reverse. And almost nothing in the reverse. A little bit of toning there. But other than that, it's in good shape. This is a Philadelphia. Looks like there was something there, but it's just, just a little nick. And 1881. Nice looking Morgan. And here's a 1921 with some full tone as well. This one's got nice cartwheel. Here's the perverse of Philadelphia. This one's very, very clean. It's got major detail on it. Look at all those breast feathers. You can see all the indents. Let's see if I can get any closer. There you see all the detail right there in the breast feathers. Very nice. 1921. All right, 1885. Another one with some nice toning. Is there? My camera restarted. Here's the reverse. <coughs> I don't know why the Canon does that so often. It just decides to uh, restart itself. Here's an 1887 with some of the scaling that I like to call. Kind of looks like it's got scales right on the jaw. See all of those? But it's toning. Oh, this is a nice looking one. 1887. Look at that cartwheel. Nice looking coin right here. Here's the reverse. Uh, reverse. It's got some darkening up there. A little bit of toning here. Still got good detail though. Still got pretty good detail. Nice. And here's a 1882. This one kind of has like a gloss look on it. 
kind of hard to see with the naked eye, but it almost kind of looks like glass. So I'm not sure if this one was polished or who knows, but it looks like glass with the naked eye. Looks glass, but kind of dull at the same time. So it might have been polished. And this one's a San Francisco. That's an S. 1882. 1882S. Up next is... This 1884 Morgan Dollar with some cool toning up top. Nice kind of cartwheel. 1884 what? This is a New Orleans. You can see the O right there. Still got pretty good detail. Not as much wow appeal as some of the other ones, but still a, still a very good Morgan. Nice toned. Looks like there's something there. Not sure what that is. Maybe a nick. Not sure. Next up, we're getting down to the wire, guys. Got a few more. Here is a 1883. 1883 Morgan. Some really dark blue around the edge. Some purpling. This one's got some uh, cool looking color to it. 1883. Here's the reverse. So it's uh, New Orleans. Still got really good detail. Nice looking coin. Ooh. Yeah, a lot more than a few. I have six left. All right. 1900. Turn of the century. 1900 Morgan. From Philadelphia. I heard a noise outside. I had to see what it was. Look at that nice toning. Nice looking one right there. Here is a 1921. 1921. So far, they have all been common Morgans with some really cool toning on them, but really good detail on a lot of these. This one also looks like, uh, looks a little off, but not sure if it was polished. It's a Philadelphia. But, uh, just look at that detail. We got all that good detail, guys. There's a nice looking one right here. Got a nick right there next to the eye, though. All right. Four more. Here we go. Another 1921. This one's got some dark toning to it. Nick around the eye like the other one. Ooh, the reverse looks nice. Kind of has like this maroon, brown, real dark red color. Nice looking coin right here. And this one is a Philadelphia. Looks like there's something there, but looks like it might just, almost kind of looks like a really small S. Let's see if I can get it to focus. No, I can't get any closer. You guys see that? Let me look at it with a magnifying glass. Let's see what it is. It's an S. <laughs> oh man, that's an S. It is like so far down there. But yeah, that is an S. It's a small S. Oh, I could see it really well with the naked eye. But it's tiny. That's a tiny, tiny S. All right, next up. 
is an 1881. 1881 Morgan. Nice rainbow. All the way around on this guy. Look at that big O compared to that little tiny S on the last one. Nice detail. Nice looking Morgan. All right, we got two left. There's 1879. 1879 Morgan. Nice toning. It's got that strip that some of them end up having. Not sure what causes that. I can only speculate. Here's the reverse. It's uh, Philadelphia. Nice Philadelphia coin. Morgan Silver Dollar. And the last toned Morgan Silver Dollar, just had to make sure, is this 1896 Morgan Silver Dollar with some cool toning on it. It's got really good greens, purples, a little bit of yellowing right in the center. All right, here we go. Let's keep looking at this coin, 1896. Some nice toning, very subtle. Very, very subtle on this guy, but it's there. Nice toning, Philadelphia, yeah, so that is it, guys, I have, I don't know how, exactly how many of these Morgan dollars that I got to put into flips and get them all labeled, get them ready for the auctions, because, um, these guys are really good for the auction. Had some good luck on a lot of them. Had some bad luck on a lot of them. So, and here's the one that I'm debating on keeping. 1889. But who knows? We'll see. I'll keep it aside just in case. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. And make sure you guys go to www.westtnexchange.com. Get registered for the auctions. And I'll see you guys uh, at one of those auctions. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about these Tone Morrigans. And till then, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.